morning folks uh, we're gonna sh shoot a little video here on uh, how to groom your mule how to give them a, a haircut uh, like like everything else this, this is just the way we do it here at Garrison Mule and Chip and Training we're gonna start off with a pair of scissors these are Fiskers scissors right-handed scissors picked up at Home Depot I think had them I don't know four or five years they've they've lasted lasted well cut good so forth tool tools are important obviously and the right tools but I want to start off by trimming this guy's mane and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut it as short as I want it right off the bat we're gonna we're gonna trim it to length probably a couple of times but this is this is just the the rough cut I'm gonna cut try to get it about an inch inch and a quarter long uh, and fairly even not uh, keep it as even as possible I'm gonna cut the cut the bridle path and get her scissors up here and trim the hair that's sticking out of his ears we don't want I don't I don't think we need to cut the hair inside we don't want to clean them out they need that hair for for other things but we'll just trim the hair that's sticking out and we'll get up here with her with our uh, our machine in a little bit and trim a little bit more all right we're gonna cut we'll cut the bridle path always want to make sure my mule is going to be good with these trimmers let it let him feel the vibration through the back of my hand make sure everything's good I'm going to come in here and cut the bridle path. I want it about, about seven, eight inches long here where I've got plenty of room to tie my halter, put my bridle on, all that stuff. You see this guy's being super cooperative. He's had this done before. Notice I'm cutting the guard hair off on the outside of this. This is his forelock, obviously, but so we're going to do the same thing on the main here in a little bit. And all that does is take take that guard hair off and reveals the true color of the main. Which, when you cut it short like I do. If you don't do this, then you don't get to see what the main, the true color of the mane is like. And we start that process right here. So we go in right at the base, right at the base of that mane, and cut the guard hairs off. You don't want to go too deep, because you can always go back and, and get what you missed. This uh, this makes a really definite definition. Also, gives more definition to the top of their neck. Roll that hair off, and we'll go back and and get the little bit that we missed. You know, this is, when I take my mules to town, I want, I want my mules looking as sharp as possible. I want them, I want their manes trim, I want the tails trim, I want their tack 
impeccable. I want everything to look as nice as possible. The general public, for the, for the most part, not all the time, but the general public does not have a very, uh, a very positive image of the mule. And uh, I, I will, when I when I get my mules in front of the general public, I want them looking as good as possible. Got one there for you. All right, we're gonna trim his tail also. Now he's a little uneasy about this. It's all right. We'll get tired of moving in a minute. Just gonna hang with him. Let him move. Let him settle. Let him settle. Start here right at the head of his tail and make a straight line with my with my clippers. Right across the top of his tail. And I'm gonna drop down here about two inches. Maybe maybe a little more. Just run those clippers up his tail against the grain of the hair, against the direction the hair is growing. I run a crouper on all my mules, so I, the, the reason I do cut the, head, the hair on the head of their tail like this is when I put my crouper on, it makes the process a whole lot faster because I have a lot less uh, a lot less likely that I get hair turned back under that tail. You want to keep these tail hairs from getting turned back under the crouper like like so. That'll make a sore under the tail. So that's his tail. Alright. We call this guy Trump. That's not a derogatory name. I'm pretty pretty upset about the election myself. But we call him Trump because he's orange. And we, we've all noticed that, that Trump is a little orange from time to time. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side of his of his mane. Okay, after we get that done, then we're going to just uh, thin that mane out a little bit. Some of them have a lot of mane, some of them don't have much. Get a little shape here on this front end. We'll use, our, use our clippers to cut the hair out of this ear. Clippers or scissors, either, either one. All right. And here, we're going to 
be on this side. This main another another trim here. We'll cut it a little bit shorter. Give me a brush, please. cleaned up here a little bit you can see what a difference that makes in the appearance of your mill now just like when when we go to the barber and get our hair cut it always looks a lot better in about two or three days but that's uh, that's basically how I would I would trim a mill to garner his best appearance Hope this helps you guys out a little bit. See you on the trail.